got a bit of a mishmash of different stuff to show you today and I wanted to go through these umbrella entertainment horror DVDs in comic book style and you'll see what I mean when you have a closer look at them and these have been released progressively since 2005 but I think they've stopped doing them now um, and in addition to that I'm going to do a general DVD update and a couple of new VHS videos that I wanted to show as well so quite a few things to get through today so let's have a look Well, the first three that they released was uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters, also known as Zombie and Zombie 2. And as you can see, like I said, comic book style, and which is they're pretty cool covers, I reckon. And um, usually these were just repros of the North American prints, and it's got those DVD extras, as you can see. And Zombie Holocaust as well, which is pretty cool. That is the uh, DVD extras as well. As you can see, it's got umbrella trailers and, of course, burial ground. And that's the extras on that. Now, these three were also issued in a box, and they've also been issued as a single uh, covered one with, like, three discs in the middle. So, um, yeah, they've been issued a couple of times by umbrella. They also released this one, I Drink Your Blood, and um, I like the cover there. I think they're slightly different to the, well it is obviously very different to the North American release. And it's got all those DVD extras there, which I think quite a few of them were on that, um, I think Grindhouse did a, a limited edition. And so Umbrella have just put them onto this disc as well. And I think the limited edition over in the States is well out of print. But um, this one's gone out of print now too, but I still think you can pick it up. Uh, Blood Feast. Two, which I didn't like as much as the original, but anyway, there it is. It's got all those DVD extras on it. Slumber Party Massacre, which I watched in the ages. I haven't watched this DVD yet. I think um, Suntan Boy 22 likes this film a lot. Shockwaves, which is a great film. And you can still get this one. I only paid five bucks for that. It's pretty good. And that's all the extras on it. And this one here, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things from the early 70s, directed by Bob Clark, who of course did Black Christmas. Although I think he's under the title Benjamin Clark here. But yeah, so that's, a, that's not a bad little 70s film. Speaking of Bob Clark, he directed this Blue Underground of Death Dream. Some of these get dumped on the Aussie market and they just stick the rating sticker on it. But um, yeah, this is a great film too. So if you haven't seen Death Dream, definitely check that out. Well, as you can see, I've kind of got two copies of it. This one's got that shiny cover thing in this uh, Blue Underground Tufa. So that's obviously Death Dream there. And Uncle Sam as well. I only got that just recently, so I haven't watched Uncle Sam yet. A couple of more Blue Underground titles I've got here of 99 Women and Bear Behind Bars. So these are obviously the X-rated versions, which I decided to buy because... Um, well, they're quickly going out of print. I bought these from Amazon, and the postage actually came from New Zealand. So they were posted from New Zealand. I kid you not. I should have kept the box to just, just prove it. But, um, yeah, I was a little bit cheesed off about that because you pay for postage from the United States, but they come from New Zealand. The benefit, though, is that it's less likely to attract interest from customs. So obviously that's how they got through pretty easy. And, of course, they go nicely with this Emmanuel Around the World. This is Joe D'Amato film. And, um, yeah... A bit of hardcore inserts in those ones. Pretty sick film, actually. And that's obviously the Triple uh, X European version. There have been reports of customs seizing this disc, so if you're going to buy it, you need to be careful. Speaking of Joe D'Amato, I picked up a couple of more of his. This one, Porno Holocaust. I actually bought this in Melbourne. And that's a back. There's a naughty picture I'm covering with my, my thumb there. Um, yeah, it's got a couple of special features, really cool trailers. I could never add the trailer of that onto YouTube because, well, unless I cut the shit out of it. And Laura Gemza in another Joe D'Amato film, Erotic Nights of the Living Dead. I haven't watched this yet. I've only watched the trailer. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty 
horrendously bad. <laughs> okay, let's move on to some new VHS tapes I got. Avenging Angel. When you get to hell, tell him an angel sent you. Avenging Angel. Angel. I picked up a beautiful copy of Avenging Angel in an original box and everything and that's not an X rental so I'm happy about that purchase that's that and that will go nicely with my two copies of Angel on Roadshow and I've got two of them in their original boxes so I just need to get Angel 3 now and it's all complete with the VHS releases anyway picked up a couple of other early horrors here from Thorn E. Myers Amityville 2 The Possession I didn't realize this was M rated but anyway um, I thought it was R rated um, that's in an original box too, so that's nice. Dino De Laurentiis presents Amityville 3D. And this one here, Amityville 3, which is the original video classics version in an original box as well. It's not bad for a couple of bucks. And finally, some more Vestron titles which did make it into the early Vestron update got this one with Rebecca De Mornay in God and God Created Woman I uh, remember seeing this way back in the late 80s and can't remember jack shit about that one so I'll have to watch that soon Don't open till Christmas Don't open till Christmas and this is a pretty brutal film the uh, Aussie version is uncut and uh, a lot of these scenes that you see on the cover were not in the British version but they've been um, put into the DVD version I believe but the film has been recut slightly so there you go and finally parents got this in an original box what, what is an adult concept? what is an adult concept? does anyone know? I don't even know what the fuck um, yeah anyway so that's an original box too that's nice that's all I got today. A bit of a mishmash of stuff. Thanks for watching.